series is called Reclaiming Authenticity. So what do you mean by authenticity? Sure. Uh, <clears throat> well, just by simple definition, authentic comes from the word auto, which means the self. So authentic means being ourselves. Now we're born being ourselves. We can't help but to be born being ourselves. Unless we're severely hurt in uterus and not well, you know, we're just born ourselves. And that means we're connected to our gut feelings, to our emotions. We're totally in the present. We're not thinking about the past. We're not considering or worried about the future. We're just there with ourselves, with our bellies and our hearts and our nervous systems and our guts and all the emotions. That's what it means to be authentic, to be present with ourselves, connected to our bodies and to our emotions. And not to be afraid to be ourselves. That's what it means to be authentic. Now, for many of us, <clears throat> authenticity shows up in the lack of it. And virtually everyone has had the experience of saying something to somebody or acting in a certain way or trying to look in a certain way and there's something in you says, Ugh, I'm not being myself. I'm not being authentic. But that part that notices it, that's your authentic self. So, what I say to people about authenticity is, it's an essential part of you. In fact, you can't help but be there because you're born with it and you can never be without, you can never be shorn of it. You can never be robbed of it. But in order to belong and to fit in to your family and your society, you have to really surrender it and hide it and repress it and push it down and even lose contact with it. And there are many people in this society who are totally lost contact with it. And they do all kinds of things that makes them miserable and other people miserable, and they don't even realize it. They don't realize the source of it. So in terms of seeking authenticity, don't do that. Because the part of you that wants to find authenticity is already not authentic. The part of you that notices that you're not authentic, that's the authentic part. So pay attention to it. And then when you notice yourself not acting in an authentic way, I mean, I'm talking about something very simple. I come to town and I, you know, maybe I'm friends with Raul or Isabel or Donna, any one of the names that I'm seeing on the screen right now. And I come to your town, wherever it is, whether it's Cape Town or Melbourne or Sydney or Kelowna, British Columbia. And I call you up and say, hey, Avril or Isabel or Raul or Sherry or whoever it is, do you want to have coffee with me? And you don't feel like it. Because you don't particularly feel like seeing me. Or you've been up all night, you're tired. Or you have other things to do that you'd rather do. But you don't say no. You don't say no. Because you're trying to please me and be nice and make sure that I'm not disappointed, which you think is your job not to disappoint me. So you say yes. That's inauthentic. The authentic thing is, I'm sorry, Gabor. I'm not up for it right now. That's the authentic thing. This morning, I'm very proud of myself. I had three requests for people writing books, asked me to read them and write blurbs for them. I don't have the time or the energy right now. I said no in every case. That's authentic. So notice when you're not being authentic. And then without being critical of yourself, oh, I wasn't being authentic, what, terrible. Be curious. What was I afraid of? So you're going to find your authenticity 
by noticing where you're not authentic. And the part of you that is noticing it, not the part of you that's judging it, but the part of you that's just noticing it, ah, I wasn't being authentic. I wonder why not. That's the authentic part. So to summarize, authenticity is simply a part of our essential nature. It's a part of every creature's, every creature's essential nature. But pretty much human beings are the only animals who, for social reasons, give up their authenticity. <laughs> so that's what I have to say about authenticity. It's the self. Now, people that go into it deeply will find that the self will have its physical aspects, if it's psychological aspects, spiritual aspects. Some people will find that. I can't prescribe, nor can anybody else prescribe for anyone else, what their authenticity should look like. But for most people, it's going to be shining in a number of different dimensions. Thank you.